Greetings from the Jackson family. My name is Edward. This is my wife, Nancy. This is my oldest daughter, Ashley. And I have Rebecca and my youngest daughter, Julia. Today, we are going to talk about community. And to begin, we're going to start off with a prayer that Rebecca will read. If you'll bow your heads, please. Thank you, God, for bringing us all together today. Bless us who are here today and bless and keep those who are absent. Help us to learn how to give our praise and thanks to you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we pray. Amen. 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 One of the best ways that we can praise God is to sing for God. And the song that we're going to sing today is called Come Through Long Expected Jesus. It's a very old hymn, a very popular hymn. And the words that we're going to learn start off like this. I will say them first, phrase by phrase, and then you'll repeat at home with, with my dogs. Let's give thanks to God the Father. Let's give thanks to God the Father. And our love to God the Son. And our love to God the Son. Praises to the Holy Spirit. Praises to the Holy Spirit. Ever three and ever one. Ever three and ever one. And the song goes something like this. I'll sing the first phrase and you'll repeat. Okay? Let's give thanks to God the Father. Let's give thanks to God the Father. And our love to God the Son. And our love to God the Son. Praises to the Holy Spirit. Praises to the Holy Spirit. Ever three and ever one. Ever three and ever one. Let's do it all together. Let's give thanks to God the Father and our love to God the Son. Praises to the Holy Spirit, ever three and ever one. That was really good, guys. Thank you so much. Well, today, as we said earlier, we are talking about community. And we will learn to imagine God's community, a community close to God's heart. And to imagine, by imagining, we will do that community. And by doing, we will be that community. So Ashley is going to read a poem for you. While I'm reading the story, you can act out the parts. High above a hill floats the bright morning star. When you cup your hands over your forehead and slant your eyes, and use your gospel eyes, you see Jesus, our bright morning star. Come, says Jesus softly, beckoning to us. Come sit by me. Next to Jesus stand two persons. They are the spirit and her bride, the church. Come, they say softly, waving to us. Jesus bends down at the river of life, scoops out some water. He holds it out to us. Take some, he says. It is the water of life, a gift from me. One day you will come to heaven to live with me, but today I come to earth to live with you. You've created a world close to God's heart and a world where heaven and earth mingle together. A world where you have loved and cared for the land and welcomed strangers into your homes and been Christ to your neighbors and let your life shine. This is the gospel world where you stand before the throne of God. In this place, God will always protect you and feed you and take you under her wing like a mother hen with her chicks. God is your lamb, who is also your shepherd. God will lead you to the water of life, and whenever you cry, God will wipe the tears from your eyes. So come, says God. I will be your gospel eyes. I will be your heart. I will be your world, the world close to God's heart and I will always love and protect you. Come to me. God says that one day we will go to heaven and be with him in his home. But for over our time on earth, he will come down to earth and be in our hearts. He will guide our actions so that we do good deeds unto our friends and family. 
because they are our community. Our lives will shine because of our good deeds. And while we are on our earth, we shall do good and grow in our faith in God. Thank you, Ashley. That's wonderful. And now we're going to learn how to do a community activity. Nancy? All right. So today we're going to do an activity that celebrates community. Um, we are going to make a Native American or African drum. Um, and while we're doing this, I'll tell you just a little bit about the materials you will need. These are things you can find at home. You just need some construction paper. You're going to want to make one strip of construction paper that'll be the um, go around the rim of your canister. And we've just used a grit can, a can of grits here, but you can use um, an oatmeal can or a coffee can, something like this. Then you're going to decorate that, whatever design you want. Tape that on. Then you're going to have the top of the drum. You'll take the little lid that comes on the, on the ingredients off and you can make a larger piece of paper by cutting out uh, something bigger. I just used the cereal bowl here and trim it, cut it out, put a rubber band on and then you've got yourself a little drum that you can play with at home. Um, and the symbolism for this is that we're talking about how in a multicultural worship experience that drums um, can create a sense of excitement in worship. They might be used at the beginning in the processional, they might be used during the service, maybe at the offertory, or perhaps during the prayer time. Um, and this is because this is in the seventh lesson when um, we're talking about creating God's beloved community and how children are learning to incorporate the most central part of life into our into our community and that might be our community in, in the service as well so um, that's what we've done here so you can do that at home well, thank you nancy and so we will end today first with our lesson we will end with a closing prayer and then another song to close everything out rebecca would i mean julia would you like to finish with a closing prayer yes dearest god you are love to us help us to love you more and to love each other as you love us as we meet with our family and friends let us know and rejoice in love that is between us we pray in jesus's name amen 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 thank you and so the last song that we're going to sing today is called god be with me right. So I'll, let's, I will again, like we did at the beginning, I'll say the phrase by phrase, and then you'll repeat of call and respond. God be with me, God be with me. God be with me, God be with me. Today and every day. Today and every day. God be with me, God be with me. God be with me, God be with me. God bless me, I pray. God bless me, I pray. That's the first stanza. The second stanza will be the same thing, except for it'll be us and we. God be with us, God be with us. God be with us, God be with us. Today and every day. Today and every day. God be with us, God be with us. God be with us, God be with us. God bless us, we pray. God bless us, we pray. All right, so let's, we'll sing the first stanza um, um, line by line, and then we'll just sing the whole song, all right? God be with me, God be with me, ready? God be with me, God be with me, God today and God be with me, God be with me.